What's up, sweet, sweet candy boys? Nick here. I wanted to take this opportunity to upload a video showcasing my most optimized, I also want to say laziest, upscaling method that really seems to net some fantastic results for DVD quality videos. So now let's get into it. Real quick, I want to highlight that this is not a tutorial on how to rip DVDs or anything like that. I'll be proceeding under the assumption that you already have a variety of digital content and digital media on your hard drive that you wish to upscale from potentially 480p to something like 1080p. So let's keep going. First, you'll need to download a pretty well-known upscaling program called Handbrake. Now this is not AI upscaling so much as it is digitally rendering the existing pixel information from 480p up to 1080p with no real algorithm to fill in the missing pixels. This nets a very grainy and pixelated experience at 1080p and it really doesn't look any different than the 480p video. Skipping over the install sequence, we'll get right into adding a video, selecting your properties, taking it from its current setting up to 1080p 60 frames per second. That's what I found works best for looking as great as possible and then saving it to whatever location you feel like saving it to. For me, in this case, it's my desktop. Traditionally formatted television will usually come in 480 AI, 480p. There's some de-interlacing that needs to happen, and then it'll sit at about 24 frames per second. So use your best judgment as far as what you think looks best for your eyes. Once you do that, you can start the encode and you're off to the races. Um, depending on how powerful your computer hardware is. It could take an hour, it could take five minutes. Uh, for me, it's about middle of the road. I'm using a pretty mid-range machine at the moment. So we'll go ahead and skip forward to the actual AI portion. For AI upscaling, I use a program called Topaz Video AI from Topaz Labs. Without watermarks or anything like that, it does cost money, as you can see on the what's up on the screen. But for the most part, it's well-rounded and solid program I've used up until this point. Once you do that, you can go ahead and take your video that's now at 1080p, 60 frames per second from the output of Handbrake and add it to your AI upskill program. Now we get into the meat of the laziness, to be honest, because of all the customizations and all the features associated with this particular program, I will dial directly into the Artemis progressive enhancement. Now there are other things you can do if this is more of a home movie, not a consistent frame rate, if you are changing the frame rate, sometimes it takes hours of trial and error and previews to really dial in exactly what you need for your particular video. But for the purposes of these videos and the Star Trek videos you have and the ones that people have been asking about, I will jump directly to Enhancement. It's a progressive video, Artemis, Denoise and Sharpen, and more or less jump between the low quality noisy and medium quality that you see on the screen. And you can already see the softness and the more intricate detail associated with just the still. You can play your clip as it's previewing or as it's exporting. So I'll go ahead and skip ahead to a few examples that bounce back and forth. You can kind of judge for yourself. Does it look better on the left? Does it look better on the right? The left is the 480p picture. The one on the right is the 1080p picture. I can swap between the low quality noisy and the medium quality enhancement. Sometimes that does present problems with a little bit of light flickering, believe it or not. I'm not sure what goes on in the algorithm as far as that's concerned. But for your reviewing pleasure, here's a little bit of sliding action between the left side and the right side. As I said, the left side was the 480p upscaled to 1080p, 60 frames per second. The right side is the now upscaled 1080p with AI enhancement. And I think it looks a heck of a lot better on the right side. Now I'm just gonna try to transition over to the medium quality Artemis enhancement. But like I said, this could be super simple. Once you purchase the program, which yes, purchasing the program. <laughs> Handbrake is free, that's nice. So bring your video up to 1080p, 60 frames per second, and a normal upscale, bring it over into your upscaling program, whatever you choose that is, for in my case, it's then you play the waiting game. A 45 minute video on the AMD Radeon RX 6650 XT takes about seven hours. On my Intel Arc A770 GPU, it's about half that time. So your results might vary. It all depends on the video and the output encoder you use. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right there. If you made it this far, I appreciate you sticking it out with me. I know it's all still a bit rough, still very new at recording my own voice, but I know I covered a lot in this video, didn't get it too detailed, but 
I promise these videos will continue to get better, and I supremely appreciate the support. Have a great night!